This is a uh, beginning video on something I had written out uh, years ago. In fact, the last time I had worked on it was 9-11-2001, as it says here. And what it is is a text that I was able to print out on another computer. This, this computer does not print. Uh, and I saved this because what this is about is the Bible, but I'm not going to save this in the Bible folder as I usually do. I'm going to save this in the seminary folder because it is more like what one would do in a seminary. So what basically this is, it's an overview of the Bible. It is called Bible Study Course 101. <laughs> it's a nice title, isn't it? Bible Seminary Course 101. Uh, so the first part is an overview in general of the Bible all the way through in general. And then the second section is more detailed uh, on the Bible. So uh, these are uh, of that type of writing. So the only way I can get this done is make uh, several of these videos. I'll probably name them Bible 101-1, Bible 101-2. I think that's the best way to do it, but it will be in the seminary folder. So anyway, what I call this here is a, a basic overview. Now, what I read, I, what I'm reading here is right from this. So I will keep this right in front of me and read it to you. And it says, basic overview. The Bible is a collection of many books. Bible equals Biblos, B-I-B-L-O-S, Greek, equals books. So it isn't monolithic, but have many types and styles and qualities of writing. Its most general divisions into are what we call the Old Testament, Hebrew Bible written in Hebrew for the most part, New Testament, Christian Bible written in Greek for the most part. The next divisions is within these two large collections of books. Okay, but it must first be noted that even here, Catholic and Protestants include different books in the Old Testament. For example, that may mean books of the Apocrypha, which some do not. Now, um, each field, some books are and are not canonical except by the orthodox of their faith because they contain revelations from God. In this overview, I include all Catholic and Protestant. So I am not uh, against or going to speak not of one and the other. Now, we go next to what's called Old Testament divisions. Now, the word testament if you go to it, it means covenant or cooperative relationship between God, man, man, God. Covenant also has a close relationship to law as in the Ten Commandments, for example. Now, there are four kinds of books basically in the Old Testament, uh, which are the Pentateuch, called Pentateuch. That's five books, and also the Torah is the first five books in there. Now, the next books are historical books. That's another division. The third division is wisdom books, and the fourth division is prophetic books. Now, let's get to the Pentateuch first. A Torah, first five books used today in the Jewish temple as the main word of God, this is kept in the Ark of the Covenant. Doors behind the rabbi and a scroll. In other words, when you're in a Jewish temple, they are kept to remind you of the Ark of the Covenant where the sacred writings were kept. That's why they are there. Now let's get into what these first five books are. The first book is called Genesis, Beginnings, Creation and Beginning of Jewish People. Next book is Exodus, Slavery and Exodus of Jews from Egypt, the beginning of the long desert wandering. 
the Sinai mountain where Moses gave the Ten Commandments. The next book is called Leviticus, Levites, priests, setting up of the ethical and legal codes for Jewish life while in desert traveling. Then the book of Numbers, counting and trials of the community of Jews from the desert to the promised land, Canaan. And the next book is Deuteronomy, Deutero meaning second and Nami meaning law. Second book of the law. Vic, this book later uh, discovered by ancient Hebrews uh, recounts much of Exodus, but greatly expands the meaning of the law and the covenant as the basis of the holy life of the Jews and later Christians, include, including the death of Moses, leaves Jews on the border of the promised land equaling Canaan. This book, uh, responsible for reforms in Judaism by Joshua. Now, those are the first five books that are in this section we call the Torah, uh, and many believe all of those books were written by Moses himself. In fact, Robert Alter, the great Jewish scholar, whom I have all of his books, and I will be reviewing those eventually, uh, says that they were all written by Moses. Some do not, uh, and some do. Now, the next section is what we call the historical books. Now, I'll just read briefly about them. Um, these books trace the entry of the Jews, in, Jews into the land of Canaan and the conquest and establishment of their rules, judges, and their kings. And finally, the division of the Jews into G2 geographical and political groups, northern Judah and southern Israel. The great kings like David and Solomon and the building of the great Jerusalem temple are here also. Then I have in parentheses, they also trace the slow departure of the Jews from their ideals as seen in the Torah and the breakdown of ethics along with the influence of other gods and nations leading to disaster. Now, next what we will do We'll tell you exactly which those other uh, books are, uh, but we will not go any further than this, but gives you some idea of the first page and a half of what I have in this collection. We're going to continue all the way through with this. We'll call them, as I said before, probably uh, Bible Course 101, 1, 101, 2, and so forth. So we hope you enjoyed this presentation. And we will continue this as soon as we can and have a wonderful day.